Google Plus Hangouts on Air. Seriously, why is the name so long? This video is all about Google Plus Hangouts on Air. If you'd like more information about the other types of webinar platforms, and you haven't seen my previous videos about them, you'll find those links below. You may want to study those videos before you come back to this one. But if you're here for the Hangouts, you're in the right place. And welcome inside a Google Hang Plus Hangout on Air. Here we are, this is the interface, and uh, let's take a little bit of a tour and have a look at what's available. But firstly, before I get into the nuts and bolts of what's inside a Hangout, I just want to say that I love Hangouts. I love them for one main reason, and basically two things. They're free and they work. And uh, I loved those two things when Hangouts came out, and I love them still. And so for anyone who's thinking about getting involved in webinars, who wants to present some live streams and Google Hangouts on air seems like a good option relative to the other live streaming possibilities, then don't hesitate. I do fully endorse it. I would suggest to you that if Hangouts would be good for you personally or for your small business, that do it, don't hesitate. Uh, it's better to get in and get familiar with using the software and presenting webinars of value to your friends and customers rather than not doing it all. Don't be fearful, give it a go. All right, so let's take a little bit of a look around the interface. We'll start off on the side here, and here you can see what's called the control room. Now, uh, when, you are, when you initially set up Google Plus Hangouts on Air, it doesn't come with a lot of apps. Um, control room was one that I found I had to install myself. It does some interesting things. allows me to control the audio and video of the people who are in the Hangout with me. And that's important so that you don't have too many people making decisions and too many people talking at once and maybe somebody who's just plain not behaving themselves. So you can control that through the control room. You can also adjust here to adjust their audio level to make them sound just perfect where you want them to be. So that's very handy as well. That's the control room. So we can close that down. We're finished with that for the moment. And now we can have a look at the other apps that I've got installed over in the other panel here. Starting at the top, we've got the chat panel. So pretty straightforward. Just like other webinar systems, you type here and it shows up in the, in the chat. So you can use that and your participants can use that. So not only do you get the visual reference of the presenter or presenters, and you can have up to 10 presenters, believe it or not, but um, you can also uh, chat here as well, which is fantastic. It uh, creates a very engaged experience for everyone involved in the Hangout. Uh, the next uh, app that I've got installed here is Screen Share, and it allows you to screen share whatever you want on your computer uh, in the main window here. So that's very handy, and again, duplicates the functionality of other webinar systems. Uh, next one here we've got is Showcase. And what Showcase enables you to do is it enables you to take a website and have a look. It's like a guided tour of a website. I won't show that now for time purposes, but you can do a little bit of a, show, a bit of a tour of the website. Pretty straightforward. Next is a Q&A panel. And again, this is one of the apps that I installed as an add-on to what was natively uh, apparent in the Hangout when I set it up. And here we are, we've got a uh, question, which is how is it going, which some guy with this little icon here created earlier. And uh, basically you can select that and start the broadcast to select a question. You can move on through the questions, you can answer them or choose them as maybe being spam. You've got lots of options as the organiser. Next up here, we've got Cameraman. Cameraman basically gives you some options for altering the camera settings. Pretty straightforward. Then we've got the control room, which is the one we started with. And here we've got one that's important for Webinar Jam users. For Webinar Jam users who uh, use the Webinar Jam Studio software, uh, this is the icon you're looking for. You may find that you need to use that when you're integrating with your uh, Google Hangout. The little three dots gives you more and basically you can add more apps. So that effectively is like your Google Hangout App Store is how I think of it. You just go and click on one and you add it to use it in your, uh, in your Hangouts. 
pretty cool. Uh, go a bit more of a list. You can see there's a one especially for YouTube, so you can watch YouTube clips together with your participants. Very, very cool. All right, we'll just duck out of that. Up the top, we've got some options as well. We can invite people from within the Hangout. So there's the link. We can give that link to people, or we can send them invitations and just go through here and invite people to join the Hangout. Uh, we can turn off our own microphone. That's turned off right now. Or we can turn it back on again. Same with the video. Ah, what happened to me? I'm gone. This is a very cool feature. This controls the bandwidth. So at the moment, we're in high resolution. We can slide that slider back to protect our bandwidth and uh, keep the experience moving along if we're on a relatively low internet speed. And this is basically settings. So these are the settings that I'm using today. You can see my webcam and my microphone that I'm using here today as well. You can even play a test sound to make sure that your speakers are working. Nothing fancy, but it does work. And this magic button hangs up the broadcast, okay? So that's how it works. To start the broadcast, you just click the big green button down the bottom. We are now going live. Welcome to the Hangout. That's how it works. Friends will join, have some fun, talk to colleagues, talk to workmates, talk to clients, prospects, friends, whatever you like. When you finish the Hangout, you just hit the red button and it's gone and you end your broadcast. That, my folks, is Google Plus Hangouts on Air. Hope you've enjoyed the tour. Enjoy. <laughs> Just talking about this stuff makes me feel cooler. Yeah. Thanks for watching today's video. I'm really excited about a guide that I've prepared for everyone who's watching my series of videos about webinars. It's my webinar platforms guide and you can download it from this page. It tells you about the four types of webinar platforms and gives you links to the software that I'm showing you and also even the pricing pages. It also includes a worksheet which can help you work out what is the best type of webinar software for you. It's designed to help you fast track your decisions and I hope you love it. So grab it today. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.